it's Ron back here with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. And we're here today to talk about the a couple of different things. The DJI Goggles N3, the latest uh, budget goggles that uh, DJI released to kind of go alongside the Yavada, I mean not the Yavada, the Neo, the, I want to say the Neo too, just the Neo. The Neo doesn't have any a numbers, but they go alongside the Neo. They're a budget price set of goggles, only $229 as opposed to $499 for the the goggles, uh, the regular goggles three. So, um, but we're not here to talk about either the goggles or the Neo today. We're talking about the firmware update that that came along for the VOD two that added compatibility with the, the new goggles and threes. Now, if you have the new goggles and three, if you've ordered them, uh, and their availability in the U.S. is, I think, almost non-existent at this point. But um, you can, um, you know, uh, use them with your Avada two as well as the the Neo, and uh, the, well, but now we're getting to the, the main focus story here. Along with that firmware update that added compatibility, you know, with the goggles and three to the Avada 2, also came a new Easy Acro mode. If you remember, Easy Acro was a set of, uh, we're going to call them kind of quick shots that kind of simulated the, the, uh, uh, the way you fly a uh, manual FPV drone. But you could, but these are you know totally automatic using a motion controller. So they already had slide, uh, flip, and 180 drift. Now they had a power loop. So that's a power loop is a favorite among um, you know uh, basically manual acro flyers of FPV drones where they kind of do the drone dro 180 goes I mean all the way around or, or actually th I meant to say 360 to go all the way around. Uh, previously, you know the uh, it could do a flip, which is I guess sort of a 180, a half spin, but this is a, an entire spin here, this new uh, your power loop feature. And you don't do anything but update your, your drone and, you know, controller and goggles, delays, firmware, whatever. And then you go into easy acro mode by choosing it on that pull-down menu at the top. And then you will see it on the left side of the screen. That's one of the four options for the easy acro mode. And then, you know, um, then you're good to go. You can start recording. Um, and, and this is all video here, it's a short video. I'm gonna show you via screen recording, uh, how you do this power loop and how it looks or whatever. So uh, with no further ado, let's roll that uh, screen recording. Okay, we're out here today with the DJI Avada 2, a new firmware update that brought a new easy acro mode uh, to this drone here. So we have power loop now, uh, which added to the already three existing uh, modes of there. So we're going to show you how to do it here. We're going to use the cursor here to show you that's how you start easy acro. And here's a power loop there. It goes 360 degrees right until the sunset behind me. Now watch that bottom right hand corner of the screen. The next one I do, it actually shows you, you know, what you're doing in the power loop and what direction is power looping in. So it, there's their second one. So really cool stuff, huh? So we're going to try another one going into the sunset now. So again, watch that bottom right corner. I'll show you which power loop we're doing here. Okay, and that's just a 360 uh, loop there. They just to give you perspective here. Here's the flip, which is flip spin around. This is kind of a 180 thing. So see it, see it shows the icon there too. We did one both directions there, front and back flip. So that's been there since day one of the Avada 2. Um, and of course, there's also the 180 drift, which uh, I'm not going to do the best 180 drift here. But you fly towards something, then you you know you hit the you know this you hit the stick, and then it kind of turns around the other way and continues flying. Now all these modes are just activated by uh, pressing the joystick on top of the um, DJI Motion uh, 3 controller. So uh, the top of storage full here, so I forgot to clean the memory card out. So we're kind of running low on memories here. That's kind of it for the. Uh, the Easy Acro Power Loop demo here. So we're just gonna, it's a beautiful day here. So we're just gonna fly down to the uh, pier here and just show you, you know, in, in regular flight mode here, not not really necessarily Easy Acro. And uh, yeah, there's the old Margate Fishing Pier there. I'm gonna kind of do a power dive on it here. Uh, there's all glory flying in the wind here. So again, it's November, but it's still beautiful. Some beautiful weather down here at the shore here. Now watch this real quick. Uh, I fly into a flock of seagulls there. I see them flying below and beside me. That was a pretty cool shot there. So I got a high wind velocity icon there too in the bottom right hand corner. So that's about it for this portion of the video. Thanks for watching and uh
hope you enjoyed that little video there on the new um, power loop feature that was brought to the uh, DJI Vive 2 with the latest firmware up round of firmware updates that, that came along with the uh, goggles N3. So, um, you know, I'm, I don't think that feature is on the Neo, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, I haven't, uh, I really haven't tried to deal out since a new, new firmware update because I don't have the goggles uh, N3. I've tried to deal with the goggle, the regular goggle 3. Just a little uh, a pro tip here when you're doing the power loop, make sure you're you're not too low to the ground. Like uh, you don't want to be 10 feet off the ground or something like that. You'll see in the video I'm up, uh, I forget where I'm up like 50 feet in the air or whatever. You don't have to be that high, but you get the point. Uh, you don't. You want to make sure you're you're a good amount of uh, you know uh, feet off the ground or meters, depending on what system you're using before you hit that power loop button because you you have no control of how wide a berth the power loop takes, you know, unlike the, F, you know, the, uh, the Acro guys, they, they can control that, you can't. So uh, make sure you're high enough off the ground. That's your power user tip of the day. Uh, my, my buddy, uh, Captain Joe over there, he did one too low and he smacked into the ground on the, you know, when it was on the return, you know, uh, 360 mode or whatever there, he had coming back around. So yeah, um, be, be, be careful out there, folks. Okay, so that's it uh, for the video here. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, give me the thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Ring the bell so you know when I put up more videos on about two Neo, goggles, uh, any anything kind of DJI drone related. And we're also covering, uh, you know, the other gear like the action cameras, uh, specifically the Action 5 Pro. We're still doing stuff on the Pocket 3. Still one of the best little cameras out there and we do other brands too so uh you know if you just want to kind of tech you a uh, small creator uh you know small content creator needs we kind of covered over here so yeah thanks for watching folks and we'll definitely see you on the next video